Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Lola and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Lola's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The corrections and the motivations that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Lola is going to come home with her very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow up training session tomorrow. Now Lola is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Lola heal. Oh, yeah. Now healing is nothing more than walking with the dog, her shoulders, even with your left leg, not forging ahead or lagging behind. It's raining, so she's shaking off the rain but matching pace with you like a lady. And she has been taught that every time that you stop your feet, she's to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And Rich talks to her and encourages her. But her job is to stay with you and not drag you down the street and be a bully and maintain pace with you. She's not loving this little rain shower. It's not raining that hard. Now the next command that we're gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. You don't wanna let her drop into a D-O-W-N. The command was sit stay. You're gonna start out at about 30 seconds and slowly work up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to her, he walks counterclockwise all the way around her and she's to maintain that sit. He gets back to her shoulders, he praises her for a good job and he gives her another command. And then she's able to get up and do what she was told to do. So it's all about, you know, mutual respect and her knowing that you have boundaries and that she has to do what she's told. It's not raining that hard, but she's making the most of it. Stay. Rich leaves her in another sit stay. And if you notice, if she looks like she's going to do something, he pulls slightly up on that leash just to remind her. You're going to work up to three minutes on this, and this time, instead of returning back to her, Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. You use her name, you lighten your tone of voice, and she is to come in and sit. And this is an important when you have a big dog because you don't want her jumping on people. Even if it's playful, it, people don't like it, especially children, they get afraid. So she has to come and sit to get praised. Nice healing. If Rich turns, she should do the same. If he speeds up or slows down, she should do the same. And when he stops, she sits very nicely. Stay. He's going to leave her in another sit stay. He's going to turn to face her. And you can practice these exercises right indoors. And I would recommend under the circumstances that you substitute playtime for work time for a couple weeks. Rich is going to call her in again. She comes right in and sits. She returns to heel and she gets praised for a good job. Very good girl. So as you can see, she's come a long way in having some respect for her trainer. Come on, Lola. My goodness. We brought a blanket out for her. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you take your left open palm, 
push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. The long down stay practice right in your living room. Put your training equipment on and practice, practice. You're going to work this down stay up to five minutes. When Rich returns back to her again, he walks all the way around her, he returns to her shoulders and he stops. And then he has to give her another command. It's with the walking that she's shaking her head. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> so Withers seated at your left. Stay. Left open palm straight to down toward the ground, one word command to down and stay. And this time instead of returning back to her, Rich will call her out of that into a, into a sit and then back to heel. And you have to keep in mind you're dealing with an American Bulldog puppy and she's come a long, long way because they do have a mind of their own and she has been worked and worked and worked and worked and she knows this stuff so I don't want her to fall into old ways when she goes back home of being too aggressive with the family. Yeah. Yeah. Now if she doesn't do it, which this is going to happen to you at home. Okay. Sometimes we want to do a perfect video, but I'd rather you see what Rich does when she doesn't do it. He t healed her right out of it and made her do it correctly. And then he called her in and then back to heal. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Lola's formal on-leash obedience commands. Sorry the weather wasn't better but I think that she did a pretty good job of demonstrating all of her skills. Hopefully when you come tomorrow, you have a chance to work with her outside because it gives us a little bit more room. She's done a great job and come a long way and she has the capacity to control herself and that behavior that she was showing you at home. We're very proud of her. We wanna thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and we will see you very soon.